Hey there, everyone. So I thought I would do something different today and give you a little bit of an action video. Um, I know that maybe some of you guys are new to our store, whereas some of you have been shopping here for 20 years or more. And um, even maybe some of the people who have been shopping here for a very long time, they have never seen me make our art glass here. And um, I wanted to do a promotion on uh, one of the products that we make, um, and that is our uh, really unusual candle holders that we have made for a really long time. Actually, other people who make um, this kind of glass, which actually they're very few and far between, I don't even know if any still exist today. Um, but that being said, the, the previous companies that used to make like our plates there was a big company called Peggy Carr. There was another guy, I can't remember his, oh, Seiden Stricker, who was on Massachusetts uh, uh, that used to do the plates like we do. Um, but they didn't, they never made a product like this. They only did like the ornaments, the plates, and I think that was really it. Um, so these are very unusual. They're fashioned after a uh, Victorian handkerchief vase where they used to take a handkerchief and um, lay it over a glass that was like this underneath the handkerchief. And then they used to starch it and it used to create a shape like this and they would take it up and turn it upside down and then they would be able to put flowers in it and water and use it as a vase or whatever else. Um, we've made them, we make them very similarly, but kiln fired instead of it being just starched um, to hold the shape. And I'm gonna show you that in a second in our kiln room. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know, these are normally $24.95 and I'm gonna do a special on them. They're $19.95, the ones that I have in stock. And I have lots of designs to choose from. There is um, parrots, um, there uh, is Easter, Easter bunnies with an Easter egg. There's Valentine's Day, red, red hearts. There is roosters. I do have some like ohm ones in the store. I do have some seashell ones like a sand dollar. Um, and I wanted to show you guys real fast like with a simple design so it doesn't take forever. But I probably will do another video um, of me painting um, our premier like orchid platter that is the biggest platter we do. Um, so you could see maybe the nuances of how I shade the flowers and things like that. But for today's purposes, I just wanted to kind of do a quick painting so that you could see the process and then just like quickly show you how we fire these since these are such unusual pieces. Um, they come with a candle um, inside. And so it's really cool. They're like a tea light down in the bottom and that the light comes from down below. So the whole thing illuminates when it's lit. And um, you could also use this thing people have told me for like a candy dish or a pen cup like on a desk uh, at your business or whatever. And then uh, people tell me they do use it as a vase as well. Um, it's a little bit open. So um, there's a thing that you can get that's called a frog. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's like a little pronged thing that sits in the bottom of a, like a vessel and it makes it so that the stems of the flowers, you can stand them up uh, so that they don't fall over to the side. And so you could get one of those at like any garden center, put it in the bottom and uh, pr pr like make your floral arrangements and they'll stay exactly how you want them to without them like falling since this is kind of like an open wide vessel. Um, but any, and the, people use it as candy dish as well. They'll put like some candies in there and especially like for Valentine's day or Easter, um, and, and, or, you know, certainly as a, as a, uh, candle holder for Valentine's day, you could always light this in the center of the table when you have your nice Valentine's day dinner with your significant other, if you're making it at home, which is what I usually do because it costs so much to go out on Valentine's Day in the restaurants, they jack their prices up so high. So usually I make a, a nice meal at home and a, a nice dessert. And so you could set this in the center of your table and have dinner with your family or your significant other and um, enjoy the day for what it is for only $19.95. So it's kind of a cool product to have. Um, so I just wanted to show you, I hope you guys can see okay. 
So what I do is I, I work on top of my light table here and I put down my template, which is the design that I've created in the computer or hand drawn so that I can um, uh, use it as a template to follow. And the design that I do for the candle holder is the same one I use to make our sun catchers. Um, so that's why they're turned in each corner because when it's a candle holder, I have to have them upright uh, to the points. So, but when I do with the sun catchers, I'll, I do four of them at a time and I'll lay them down over the template um, and I just put the hole for the ribbon at the top and I can place that wherever I need it to be. So I've got my piece of glass, my clear piece of textured glass here that I make these can holders out of. And then I lay my stencil down. My, my sleeves get in the way a little bit at this time of year. And I just want, I, I use the light board so that I can see exactly where to place the stencil. And then I have our paint, which is powdered paint. It's called enamel. So it's basically ground glass with pigment in it. And um, I have different sifter shapes. There's this, this is the biggest one, which I like, I prefer to use because it's the fastest. And then here's the medium size that I use for more detail work. And then for like real detail work, which I hate using this one, I use this tiny little one, it takes forever. Um, and I don't really use it that often anymore. I've gotten pretty skilled over the decades that I've been painting these that I can use the medium size to do a lot of fine work that I used to have to use this one for. But I use it every once in a while, depending. So what I do is I gather up some paint in my sifter, which is basically my painting brush. And I paint it, I pout, like I hit it so that the paint falls through the sifter that I'm holding through the stencil that I've cut out. So I hand cut these stencils out of Mylar. I used to use a really cool waxed paper that um, actually deteriorates a little bit over time. It was really easy to cut, but um, the Mylar is better for me. It, it's, it allows me to see through it when I have different layers um, so that I could see where to place the stencil, whereas the wax paper used to obscure it so I couldn't see what I was doing and I had to kind of like maneuver it. I have to be very careful when I lift up the stencil. If I lift it up too far like this on one side, the paint will fall through and make a mess. If I shift it in any way, it will also kind of mess it up. So I usually anchor my, my finger down on this side and then I lift up from this side, but not too high. And then I pull this up and over and get rid of the excess. You can see my shamrocks here then which are just way too boring in the, just the light green by itself. So what we do is we add a darker green as a highlight to define each shamrock a little bit better. And I hope you can see this okay. I think you can. So I just go around and I'm obviously not putting a block out totally with using this color and letting some of the light green shine through so that it has like a um, defining effect. And this is like literally one of my simplest designs. So it's only two colors. Many of my florals have tons of colors, like maybe even 10 to 20 different times I have to lay down the stencils because I usually have to highlight each one with another color after the base color is laid down. So what I'm gonna do now is just show you um, in the kiln how we fire them. I'm gonna take my um, phone off my selfie stick here and take you into the kiln room so that you can see. I'm gonna turn, how do I turn this around? Well, anyway, I'm gonna do it like this since it doesn't seem to want to let me. All right, so the way we do this is we have these cylindrical molds. Why can't I turn this around? All right, technical difficulties. But anyway, I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna hold it. So there's these steel molds that we use 
and it's this starts out flat on the steel mold like this this is the shamrock one i just did and when we have to just center it so that it, the, the cylinder is in the center and then um we place it in our kiln and it fires to about 1500 degrees and when it's done it comes out like this and then all we do is take it off the mold and turn it upside down and this is what it looks like right so um it's pretty cool they are a free form drop so sometimes they a lot of they're never the same they come out differently every time. Um, you can see even like on this one, the heart one, that it folded differently than the um, this watermelon one that I have here. So the watermelon one is great for like the summer, if like even outside on your porch or by your pool, you can have a, one of those battery operated candles in these as well, which is great. And then you don't have to worry about flames anywhere. Um, I'll walk out in the store real quick and show you. I have been having trouble getting the base glass for these pieces, but I do have some in stock. I have dolphins and I have sand dollars. And you can see the sand dollar one got a little bit taller because it was fired a little bit hotter than the others. I have flip flops. Um, there is a peace sign. Oh. The peace sign is really cool. I have to hand do that paint like the in the strips there. It's not done with a stencil, the three different colors behind the peace sign. So that's kind of fun there. So they're very free form and artistic looking. And then um, I have oh, the ohm symbol, which is great for like yoga centers. I've had a lot of them use these. Um, because they love to have candles around and they use the battery operated candles, like even during like a yoga class on a little table on the side, or if you have a meditation room in your home and you practice meditation, this is kind of a cool thing to have, or anybody who practices yoga, it's a cool, um, thing to have around. This is what the, the candles look like on the inside. Just like a little tea light. Uh, here's a Easter bunny in a basket. So... Hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of, as to how we make our candle holders, which are a very unusual piece. Um, and then later on, uh, the next couple of weeks, I'll make another video like this. Ho hopefully it's interesting to you where I do a floral plate, like that orchid one I was talking about, so you guys can see it being made. And then our About the Artist card that comes with our pieces, talk about how it's made, um, that it's dishwash like the plates are dishwasher food safe a little history about our family uh, which a lot of people appreciate as they give gifts um that about the artist card is included with any of our pieces so people really know it was like handmade by a local business and a real person rather than maybe a machine or made overseas somewhere um so hopefully that gives you a little better indicator new people older people have never seen our process um, what we do here and um, hopefully if you need anything and want to take advantage of the special I'm having on my candle holders uh, like I said they're normally $24.95 so they'll be $19.95 $5 off um, which I think is a good price $20 um, so that you can do a $20 gift if you need something like that coming up all right so I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon